Hey guys, um, how's everyone doing? So um, today I'm gonna bring a new series called Let's Sync to um, my YouTube channel. Um, basically it's gonna be going over how to connect um, a Bluetooth enabled smartphone to a vehicle. Um, I'm gonna do a whole array of different cars. Um, basically I'll go over how easy it was to set up, how many features um, the car actually allows through the Bluetooth connection as far as you know regular voice-to-voice -voice communications text message readouts Bluetooth streaming for audio and so on um, and yeah so I figured it'd be an, an interesting thing for you guys to see um, to start things off we're in my 2006 SRT8 Grand Cherokee which is um, pretty much a dinosaur this is I think one of the first years where Bluetooth technology was introduced on a Chrysler product. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the car. Alrighty. So basically the commands for this system are right here on the mirror, which is a very odd place for any type of phone connectivity. Um, Basically this button right here is going to activate the system and if the system's reading out a list of options and you want to cut it short or you want it to just stop speaking, this button right here will instantly um, go to voice command where you can tell it what you want to do. So before anything, let's turn Bluetooth on on the phone. Um, okay, let's go here. So it will pop up at the bottom eventually. So to get it going, you just tap this button. You connect. Ready. Available options are call, dial, phone book, redial, emergency, towing assistance, or setup, or say cancel to exit. So basically you hit that button. Um, and if you don't say anything, it will list you all of the options um, that you can actually say to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say phone setup, and then we're going to go to new phone, and then I'll walk you through the steps here. So let's do it. Ready. Setup. Select one of the following. Phone pairing, confirmation prompts, select phone or language or say cancel to return to main menu phone pairing do you want to pair a phone delete a phone or list paired phones pair a phone please say a four digit pin number one two three four pin code one two three four is this correct yes Start pairing procedure on phone. See phone's manual for instructions. So you can see right here at the bottom where it shows up labeled you connect. So you click that. Now you enter the pin that you told the system. Please say the name of the phone after the beep. iPhone 6S. Adding iPhone 6S. Is this correct? Yes. Assign a priority level between 1 and 7. 1 is the highest priority. 1. iPhone 6S. Set to priority 1. Is this correct? Yes. Pairing complete. And we are all set. So as you can see, it's fairly tedious. Um, it takes quite a bit of time compared to the new systems, which you'll see are like one, two, three. 
Um, but once it's set up, you basically use this button here um, to access it. You can tell it to dial a number. Um, you can say to redial. You can also go to an address book where you can store contacts in a very slow and clunky matter. I have no idea why anyone would go through that these days because you have your phone contacts right in your iPhone. It takes two seconds to bring it up. Um, but yeah, basically I will do maybe one test number real quick to show you guys. iPhone 6S. Is connected. Ready. Dial number. Miss recognition. Oh, here we Available go. Available options are call, dial, phone. Dial number. Miss recognition. Available options are Here we go. Dial. Number please. One 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 one. Dialing zero one 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 oh, one okay. yeah, one point, yeah. one. Cancel. Returning to main menu. Ready. Let's just close that. So yeah, um, to conclude, out of a 1 to 10 scale on difficulty, this is probably right up there. Um, I would say 9, uh, 9, 9.5 maybe. Um, for features, you're all the way towards the other end of the scale, maybe like, you know, a 1 or a 2 out of 10, 10 being the best in this case. Uh, you basically have your phone to connect talking like you know just voice basically is your only option with this system um, and it doesn't even allow you to use anything as far as controls in the steering wheel or on here it's all done by voice um, the only thing you can control is on the back of the steering wheel right here you can control the volume the volume um, the volume of the speech coming through the speakers so on that note thank you guys for watching stay tuned for a lot more um, yeah, and thank you. Bye.